What is up, Internet? Today, I'm going to take you through all of my motovlogging gear. GoPros, my Sony cameras I use here in the garage where I'm using to record this right now, my audio recorders, um, my drone adapters, mounts, just like everything. I put chapters in the description, so feel free to skip ahead. If you just want to see what I'm using today, um, skip ahead. If you want to see what I was using to start, which I think is kind of interesting, especially if you are new and thinking about doing it or, you've, or you just started, um, you don't need fancy ass shit. You don't, you don't. Just like the most important thing is just get out there and start doing shit. Just start doing it. <laughs> don't war game, just make your first video. It's gonna suck, <laughs> except that it's gonna suck. The most important thing is that you make it and you get it out there and you make it public and uh, just, Grow from there. Keep making videos. All right, let's get started. So my first GoPro, oh, Hero 2. I think this is one of the best cameras GoPro's ever made. Check this out. Um, you've got a built-in microphone for input. You've got a built-in output for audio. You flip this guy around, there's an HDMI there. You could record something with this, plug it up to your TV and watch it on the big screen. This was, this. I think I got this for Christmas in 2012. And so for five years, all I did with this was record um, my motocross track rides, basically. Um, and then in 2017, I made, from September to October, I think it was, I made a handful of videos, decided I was gonna do this vlogging thing, and I used this camera. So, five-year-old camera, um, figured out how to get some mounts and strap it, chin strap it onto my helmet, and off I went. You know, it was easy to, I already had a mic port, so it was easy to just grab, I, I think I grabbed one of my kids um, gaming microphone, so it really wasn't great for vlogging because it, it wasn't made to be moving at high speed with wind turbulence or anything like that. So it sounded like crap if you were going faster than say 30 miles per hour. Um, but I didn't care. I basically, the point here is I used what I had. I didn't buy anything new to start vlogging. Um, I had this GoPro and, and that was it. Um, and so for some reason I quit. And uh, a year later, 2018, I got this Hero 5 session and I started vlogging again and making videos and I've been going strong ever since 2018, September 2018. So I'm into my fourth year. What are we, three, three and a half years now? It's a bit of time. It's a chunk of time. So um, real quickly, let me just throw that up there. So there's your mic adapter, the famous $50 dongle that GoPro makes you buy for all their cameras nowadays if you're not using a media mod with the newer eight nines and tens. This thing has just been absolutely rock solid. I love the fact that it's got a replaceable lens cover. So I've, I've replaced this a couple of times because I use it on the motocross track. This is, this is now at this point, my exclusive motocross um, GoPro. It's, it's set up for my motocross helmet and it never changes. And I use it only for that. I don't use it for any street vlogs anymore. Which is, which is actually kind of nice not having to switch because the helmets are completely different. So this is the motocross helmet and you can see the mouthpiece protrudes out quite far. The whole point behind having a goggle system in a helmet like this is so that you have lots of air that you can breathe. When you have a full face helmet, I have a video about this, I'll put it over in one of the corners. Um, this is much closer to 
your mouth and then you've got the full visor, you just, you just don't get the airflow that is required for um, riding off-road. Right? It's just a, a much more cardiovascular um, situation where you just, you just need to breathe more. Your heart rate's much higher. On the motocross track, I could be 180 beats per minute, easy. All right, so Hero 2, Hero 5 Session. Um, the point I think with the Hero 2, is just use, use what you got. So um, when I got the Hero 5 Session, I also started making more like garage videos, uh, just little how-tos and easy things like change your oil, change your air filter, shit like that. And um, all I used was my phone. I don't like using GoPros for the garage stuff um, because you can't see what you're doing with them, right? You can just kind of point it somewhere and hope that it's at the right distance and, and you're, you know, you're, you've got your object center in the frame and all that, but you can't really tell until you go back and look at the footage. So that sucks. So I, I don't like to use the GoPros in the garage. So I use my phone and you know, if you've got a phone from like the last couple of years, um, it's probably got a pretty awesome camera on it and you can take some great shots just with your phone. And then I would use um, some small tripods like this. So your phone fits in here. You just yank that back, put your phone in there, let it go and it squeezes against it. And then this thing contorts into all kinds of different shapes or positions. Um, it's small, it doesn't telescope very high, but that's okay. You can get in a little adapter like this, um, probably at Best Buy or your local camera store, and um, it screws to the top of a tripod and it holds your phone. So you just pull this guy apart, put your phone in there, springs clamp down, there you go. So, I mean, just use what you got. Use what you got. And if you don't have one of these, they're cheap. They're cheap. So, there you go. Um, something that I have gotten recently and haven't used a lot, I definitely want to take more advantage of this, is it's a suction cup mount. And uh, you've got your GoPro mount here. You've got some adjusters right here, and you can kind of just move this guy around. And um, in my Hayabusa review video, I used this and, and got some pretty cool shots, I think, with it. Um, I like it a lot. I don't know why I haven't used it more, um, but I definitely have a goal to use this more in upcoming videos because it's kind of neat. It definitely gets you some, some better views. Fall of 2020, so less than two years ago, I got the Hero 8 Black. It's in a medium mod case, but originally I used the external mic adapter over there. There we go. And uh, we're all familiar with this $50 thing that GoPro makes you buy. And um, eventually I migrated to the Media Mod case that it's in now. Uh, one thing I really do like about the Media Mod case is how clean the setup is. You know, with the external mic adapter, you've got the wires kind of dangling around. Um, like on my Hero 5 Session where I'm still using the external mic adapter, you can see that zip tie there. It's, it's just a cleaner setup with the Media Mod. Um, however, I love to hate this camera and the reason why I love to hate this camera is because it's feature rich. Um, it's, it's, it's a really nice camera in terms of frames per second and resolutions, the LCD screen on the back touch screen. So it's, it's really easy to navigate and change settings. This is an awesome camera. However, I've had both battery issues with this camera and I still experience the external microphone. I'm just called Bullshit, that's what it is, it's bullshit. I still experience it, I still get clips. I'll get, I'm spitting on the ground in my garage. I'll get home and I'll go through clips and every once in a while I'll still get a clip um, where it didn't pick up the external mic and I've, I've ran three different microphones from three different manufacturers and they've all at one point or another experienced this. So I don't think it is a microphone thing, I think it is a GoPro thing because this is the second camera that um, I've had this issue on. So this is permanently used for my street bike. This has never seen the motocross track because I did not get the subscription service that GoPro wants you to buy into where if you break it, you know, you send it in, replace it with a new camera, which, which is nice. But um, I've always been hesitant to use this on the motocross track because it does not have that replaceable lens cover. If this lens breaks, I'm screwed. So um, Hero 5 Session, permanent motocross until some point in the future, 
I'll do something different, but I, I don't, you know, I don't have any plans for that. Hero 5 session, my motocross, and this is um, First Street. I love this camera. This is the Hero Max. I got this last year, 2021. And a couple of things I really like about this. I use this on both street. This is basically for my second view for street and dirt. Um, you can see that it's got these very easily replaceable bubble lens covers. I've got a whole bunch more of these because on the street, it's not a big issue, but again, on motocross track, you're taking roost. These get damaged. Um, if you drop it on the ground, they can get scratched, but they're so cheap and easy to replace. It's awesome. GoPro did great with this camera. Now, I have never used this with, again, it's my second camera, whether I'm on a motocross track um, or on the street, it's the second camera. So I've never used it with an external microphone. So I don't know if this camera suffers the same external microphone issues that the Hero 8 Black does. We'll talk about this. I wanted to make sure I turned it on. We'll talk about this in, the, in a bit when we get to the audio section. Um, but I will put this on, hang on. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna grab my handlebars from my motocross bike, but there's stuff. Anyway, um, I will mount this on the handlebars pointed back at me, so. You can use the front facing camera, you can use the rear facing camera. And so I'll put it on the handlebars and maybe I'll do some laps with just the rear facing camera. Maybe I'll do some laps with the front facing camera. Um, and then I'll also put it on top of my helmet and put it in 360 mode. And I made this video where I just rode around the side of the track really slow as people that were on the track passing me by. And you know, this thing just grabs everything, right? It's, it's awesome camera. Awesome camera, I love it. It's my favorite GoPro camera thus far. Okay, let's talk audio. Um, at some point I got, well, we'll talk about this guy, but um, I got this first actually. Uh, this is a Zoom audio recorder. Um, bottom line is this thing is awesome. It's, let me, Get a really close shot here. How's the light? There's the light. We'll go this way. You got all kinds of stuff here and SD cards and on off switches and buttons and it's got mic inputs all over it. Um, it's it's way more fancy than, than I even begin to know how, <laughs> if that makes any sense. This is a very sophisticated, awesome piece of equipment. It works really well. And at this point, I will use this to do voiceover in my videos um, when I'm at my computer editing. Um, I used to use this in the garage, but it is quite large, quite bulky. And depending on which microphone port you're using, um, it, it's just, it's hard to fit into a pocket and move around with. In the garage and right now in this video, I'm using the um, F2 field recorder. So. This obviously quite this way, damn it, <laughs> quite a bit smaller. The form factor for this guy is magnificent, magnificent for in the garage doing stuff. Cause it's just so tiny. You can fit it in just about any pocket and um, put the lavalier up here on my collar. Here in the garage. I like to use, um, I think it was Christmas I got this guy. And uh, we got a nice little selfie stick that also dubs as a tripod. This is the Sony, what is this? E, V, what the hell? Come on, man. ZV1. That's right, ZV. God, you would think I'd practice this shit before I actually make the video. <laughs> um, great camera. Um, kind of like the audio recorder I was just showing you, it's uh, it's got more functionality and features than I have yet learned to use. Um, I'm definitely like in terms of photography, <laughs> I wouldn't even say I'm an amateur. I'm like like whatever the lowest level is, I'm below that. Uh, I'm learning though. I think I'm getting better, and it's just one of those things that just takes practice. 
So um, eventually I got this, I think it was a Christmas present from Mr. Peter. And you know, that upgraded me from having basically one camera view, my cell phone, to now having two. This being the Sony EV-1, did I get that right? ZV, EV, why do I keep saying E? The Sony ZV-1 as the primary view and then um, my cell phone as a secondary view. And then eventually I upgraded to the camera that I'm looking at right now, which is the ZV E10. And maybe that's why I keep trying to say E because I'm thinking about that camera. Um, again, um, an upgrade from the EV1, <laughs> did it again, ZV1. Um, I think the big thing here is with the ZV E10 is you've got a, a lens that you can remove and attach. And I'm still, I did again, photography, lowest level below that. So I'm still learning like what lenses are good for taking what kind of shots and all that kind of stuff. And I'm learning about aperture and, um, ISO color levels or yeah, just, it's all still very foreign to me, <laughs> but um, so yeah, we migrated from one camera view, cell phone, <laughs> to a real camera with the cell phone and having two views, to now I've got two views with two real cameras, both of which are above and beyond my skill level, but I'm working on it. <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there eventually. So I have not used this much lately, but this is my up, up, there we go. Ooh, don't fall out. All right, let's take that out there. This is my DJI, DJI Mini Mavic. Man, this is, this is an awesome drone. Um, as you can see, it folds up. It's nice and compact. I got the fly more kit, which comes with more batteries and a charger. And I just, I don't know, just everything about this drone. I love it's, it's really perfect for on the go moto vlogger. I do have, um, an older cell phone. One of the reasons why I haven't used it much lately is because the app stopped working and Google came out with an update, my phone updated and the app stopped working. You launch the app and it just dies. I tried uninstalling the app, restarting the phone. Um, I made sure I had the latest and greatest app. Did all the stuff that we all try and do. Um, could not get it to work. Some time passed and I realized, you know what? I still have my old cell phone that I'm not using anymore. And um, I bet you the app still runs on that one because it's not gonna get the Google updates anymore. So um, tried it out, it did. So now I just, I just pack it with the drone. I think the drones are great for just kind of keeping the video dynamic. Um, I like having different camera angles. I like both in, in the same video, having the different camera angles, but combined with some voiceover, maybe some music, some background music, and then some direct vlogging in the video all mixed together. And if you're out riding, like, you know, you, can't fly the drone in the garage, but if you're out riding, um, you, you can add that other dimension to your video with drone footage. But I think like anything else, you know, you can overuse it too. <sighs> there you go. That's everything. That's, um, you know, in the beginning, I had a five-year-old Hero 2 GoPro and my cell phone. And that's what I made videos with in the garage, out and about. And then the Hero 5 session. Now I've got two cameras. Um, and then, um, the evolution up to where we're at now with the Hero 8 Black and the Hero Max and my Sony ZV-1 and ZV-E10 and audio recorders and so there you have it, man. There's the evolution of all my motovlogging gear in the last three and a half years. So good times. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think and uh I guess keep the rubber side down. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.